The FL282 Colibri was an improved version of the Flettner FL265 announced in July 1940, which pioneered the same intermeshing rotor configuration that the Colibri used. It had a 7.7-litre displacement, 7-cylinder Simon Dialske SH14 radial engine of 110 to 120 kilowatts mounted in the centre of the fuselage, with a transmission mounted on the front of the engine from which a drive shaft ran to an upper gearbox. This gearbox then split the power to a pair of opposite rotation drive shafts to turn the rotors. The SH-14 engine was a venerable, tried and true design with low specific power output and a low power to weight ratio 20.28 horsepower per litre, 0.54 horsepower per pound. It could run for up to 400 hours without major servicing as opposed to the more powerful 27-litre displacement, 9-cylinder BMW Brahmo Fafnir 750 horsepower radial engine powering the larger Fokik Atgilis for 223 helicopter. The Fe 223's higher output, 27.78 horsepower per litre, 0.62 horsepower per pound, and more modern design required moderate maintenance as often as every 25 hours. This was well within the norm for modern radial engines of that era. While such a heavy and low-powered engine would work well in a very small craft like the Fell 282, attempting to scale it up and use an engine of an equivalent power-to-weight ratio in the 700-1000 horsepower class would result in a massive and heavy engine, leaving little excess capacity for cargo or passengers. 750 horsepower was the lowest rating that the Fafnir was available in. Indeed, it was a low-power, low-maintenance design compared to many other engines of this era. The Fell 282's fuselage was constructed from steel tubing covered with doped fabric, and it was fitted with a fixed tricycle undercarriage. The German Navy was impressed with the Calibri and wanted to evaluate it for submarine spotting duties, ordering an initial 15 examples to be followed by 30 production models. Flight testing of the first two prototypes was carried out through 1941, including repeated takeoffs and landings from a pad mounted on the German cruiser comb. The first two A-series prototypes had enclosed cockpits. All subsequent examples had open cockpits and were designated B-series. In case of an engine failure, the switch from helicopter to autorotation was automatic. Three-bladed rotors were installed on a test bed and found smoother than the vibrating two-blade rotor, but the concept was not pursued further. The hover efficiency, or figure of merit, was 0.72, whereas for modern helicopters, it is around 60%. Intermeshing rotors were not used on a mass-production helicopter until after World War II. Intended roles of FL-282 included ferrying items between ships and reconnaissance. However, as the war progressed, the Luftwaffe began considering converting the Fell 282 for battlefield use. Until this time, the craft had been flown by a single pilot, but by then a position for an observer was added at the very rear of the craft, resulting in the B-2 version. Later, the B-2 proved a useful artillery spotting aircraft and an observation unit was established in 1945, comprising three Fell 282 and three Fay 223 helicopters. Good handling in bad weather led the German Air Ministry to issue a contract in 1944 to BMW to produce 1,000 units. However, the company's Munich plant was destroyed by Allied bombing raids after producing just 24 machines. Towards the end of World War II, most of the surviving Fell 282s were stationed at Rangsdorf in their role as artillery spotters, but gradually fell victim to Soviet fighters and anti-aircraft fire. Subscribe to Strategic Chronicles 